Hey Popeye, Muse Link are the modest link With the latest topic and the hottest thing Subscribe, subscribe, make the phone go ping Boss a like, boss a like, now nah charge a thing At the latest Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers So in today's journey, we are still in the parish of St. Anne We have left the Duns River Falls and we are heading back to Montego Bay in the parish of St. James Continue to sit back Continue to relax, grab a bottle of your favorite beverage, and drive with me. Yeah, man, enjoy the scenery. Enjoy beautiful Jamaica. Because whilst the mayhem is continuing, Jamaica is still a beautiful island. It's just us as a people that need to come together to make this country better. Yes, man, that's what we need to do. So, Later on today, we'll be carrying the birthday greetings over on PNL Vlogs TV. Remember that if you have any birthday greetings to send, just send us a WhatsApp message 876 458 9111 and we will send the greetings. The greetings are sent on PNL Vlogs TV. You can send a photograph of the person. You can also send a voice note if you want the person to hear you saying the greetings. If you are sending a voice note, Ensure that you write in the keyword birthday in the message. We also send anniversary greetings or if you just want to big up somebody. Also, please remember to send in the greetings at least one day before the date that you want the greetings to be announced. Alright? In this video, we have a number of stories for you. All of the stories are interesting. All interesting stories. Trust me when I tell you. First up. We are learning that a man, he's in his mid-thirties, he was robbed of his motorcycle. This took place beside a popular restaurant at Big Bridge in the parish of Westmoreland last night. Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, almost 8 o'clock. Our information is that this man, he's in his mid-thirties. It is said that he was standing along the roadway beside his motorcycle, right in the vicinity of this popular restaurant when two hoodlums rode up on another motorcycle. It is said that the pillion on the motorcycle, he brandished a gun and juked down the man. He searched him, took away the bike keys as also his wallet containing cash. The hoodlum, he then rode away on the man's motorcycle. I've been telling you from the other day you know, that a lot of these robberies are taking place in Westmoreland and Hanover. Bike owners, uno be careful. Be on the lookout, be on the alert. Luckily, this hoodlum did not squeeze the trigger. And nobody feel like say, these guys are not fake gun them are using and rob nobody again, you know. They are using, look here, right here now, real guns are more than water guns in Jamaica. Real guns are more than fake guns in Jamaica. You best believe that. So when them juke you down, Nobody feel like I know fake gun them I use. Real guns. So this next incident took place also last night. Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, some minutes after 10 o'clock. It took place at Flower Hill. Now, Flower Hill is in the Montego Bay area in the parish of St. James. Our information is that a man, he is 84 years old. 84. He's a farmer. And he lived at the same flower hill. It is said that this man, he was inside of his house last night when he heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots. When he checked, he realized that he was shot. This man, he received gunshot wounds to his back. He managed to make an alarm and he was assisted to a nearby hospital where he was admitted. We are awaiting some more details. And as soon as we get it, we are going to be updating this story. But the confirmation is, this man, age 84 years old, he was shot and injured last night by a hoodlum. Stand by, we'll be coming up with some more details in a subsequent video. Now, this next incident, it took place last night again. Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, about 10.30. This one, it took place at a place named Hardball Sports Bar at Bobman Hill 
in the Lilliput area in the parish of St. James. Our information is that a group of persons, they were inside of the bar. They were listening to music and some of them were playing games and slot machines. It is said that two hoodlums walked from across the road. They brandished guns and opened gunfire on the group of persons who were inside of the bar. The two hoodlums, they then made good their escape. When the shooting subsided, four persons, to include three males and one female, they were shot. They received gunshot wounds all over their body. They were rushed to a nearby hospital where all of them, they were admitted. We are still awaiting some further details. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You see, when this crime scene was processed, our information is that 34, 34 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So, at least 34 bullets was fired in this bar. <laughs> Why may I tell you, you know, the mayhem, the mayhem. We are certainly going to be updating this story. Yeah, man, stand by for it. Now, in this next story, the man you are seeing on your screen, his name is Kemar Madan. He is 21 years old. At the end of this month, April 30, Kemar would be celebrating his 22nd birthday. Kemar, him dabbling a little music. Him have a channel on YouTube. Him do a little DJing. Now, if you look on your screen, you can see Kemar. He was voicing a song. We won't play the words for the song because you know them type of song. They will not bring them here. But he dabbled in a little music. Now, Kemar, he was popularly known as Flames or Evanate. He lived at Bath District in the parish of Westmoreland. Kemar, he have a good friend known as Perch of the same Bath District in Westmoreland. It is said that Kemar, he owed Perch some money. We are not sure how much money. But Perch, he has been asking Kemar for his money. This money, it was not forthcoming. So, on the night of Saturday, March 26, 2022, about 10 o'clock, it is said that Perch, he again asked his friend Kemar for the money. He didn't get it, so an argument developed. Our information is that Perch, he used a big stone to hit Kemar in his chest. Kemar, him take it for granted. He didn't seek any medical attention immediately. But on Tuesday, March 29th, 2022, Kemar, he started feeling some serious chest pain. As a result, he went to the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital. He was treated at the hospital and later released. <laughs> you know, say, some of them doctor ya, you know. Some of them doctor ya. <laughs> now, on Monday, April 4th, 2022, almost one week after Kemar was treated and released from the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital, he again started feeling some serious chest pain. We are told that his relatives, they assisted him to the same Savlamar hospital where this time he was treated and admitted. But early yesterday morning, Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, about 4.30, Kemar Madan, he was pronounced D-E-A-D -E by the doctor on duty. A post-mortem examination will be done to ascertain the cause of death. But... My suspicion is that Kemar's friend, Perch, he will be facing a murder charge. Yeah, man. Look out for a murder charge for Perch. Perch, you need to go and go talk to the police. Sad indeed. Remember me telling you, know, these two guys were very good friends. Very good friends. And this is the end result. All because of our money. And you doctors... You know, just treat people and send them home. So what? Uh, no ultrasound, no x-ray was done? Or was it ordered and him never do it? <laughs> Boy, may I tell you? May I tell you? So let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. 
the stories them interest to know so much that up until now one don't remember to hit on the like button eh here i am have to be concentrating and bringing the stories to you and at the same time me have to concentrate and reminding you <laughs> eh well you must hit on it by now don't you yeah man continue to hit on the like button that is how you support this channel you know that is how you support it there are those the naysayers the people who want to see the mayhem continue there are those who have things to hide and they are afraid that their criminality will be exposed that are feeding business them can chat and say all what they want <laughs> yeah man make them talk all them want to talk that are feeding business we are bringing the information to you as long as you are not involved in certain things you have nothing to fear over yaso we no support criminality one bit yeah man that's what we do <laughs> you best believe so if you have not yet subscribed remember to hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell then click all so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified so in the final story for today the man you are seeing on your screen his name is gregory brown he was popularly known as Modo. he was 38 years old and he lived at johnson land in sheffield in the parish of westmoreland we are learning that Modo, he was last seen alive on friday april 1 2022 he was seen riding that motorcycle that he had just purchased we are told that that motorcycle it is fairly brand new so like we told you that's the last time he was seen alive on friday april 1. so on monday april 4th 2022 our information is that a family member went to the Negril police station and a missing person report was filed at the station now yesterday tuesday april 5th 2022 about 12 midday we are told that some persons along Namprel road in Negril, they smell a foul odor as a result they went and made checks now they checked right across from the texaco gas station in Negril, in that bushy area whilst checking they stumbled upon the body of a man this man he was later identified as gregory brown popularly known as Modo. his body it was partially decomposed he was lying on his back and he was wearing a blue jeans pants black t-shirt and a pair of white sneakers the same clothing he was last seen alive in on friday april 1. the police were called and the body of gregory brown was removed to the morgue for a post-mortem examination Modo's brand new motorcycle was not found now the question is do you have any doubt that Modo was killed by one or two or three hoodlums and dumped at that spot or do you have any doubt that he was taken to that spot where he was killed do you have any doubt at all that he was killed and his bike stolen well i have no doubt that that is exactly what took place the question is was he stabbed or was he shot when you get that details we'll be bringing it to you the mayhem continues blessed love everybody Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun. Jamaica become now the land of 